Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Well, it is almost 7 p.m. and I am just now vlogging. So I think this is going to be another short vlog today. Um, maybe we'll just round out July with having just short vlogs. I don't know. Um, you know, when Alex leaves on Friday and I'm just kind of sitting around here, you know, watching shows and stuff like that, I'll probably vlog a little bit longer. Um, as well as like maybe, maybe what I'll do this weekend is I'll vlog a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit here and then I'll combine those vlogs together and then I'll have like longer, really long vlogs for the weekend. We'll see. That's just an idea. So anyway, um, got up today, was a little worried about Boo Radley last night. He kind of seemed to like do better and then, um, and then he would like squeal out and then do better and then squeal out. Um, so I was prepared today to get up and like if he was still not doing well call the vet um, Alex took him outside this morning and he said he seems like he's doing a little bit better when I went to bed last night He like always kind of like cozies up to me right here and he puts his little head down like on my chest I noticed that he was like not putting like he would like go to put his head down and then it would get to like there And then he would put it back up and so I was like I wonder if he's hurt his neck again because that was what the vet had said before that like you know um running after our neighbor dog that he had hurt his little neck which was part of why she <clears throat> put him on this uh, pain medication so i was like well i wonder if he hurt his neck again so this morning alex you know took him outside and said he thought that he was like doing better before he left for work and so then when i got up i slept in a little bit he didn't really want to get out of bed and I was like, uh-oh, here we go. Like, it's going to be the same thing. Oh, this was the other thing last night. At about 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 or 4.30, we got horrendous thunderstorms. Like, horrendous. It was pouring. And it's so interesting because it's kind of like a beautiful night right now. Um, it's cloudy, but it's, it's pretty out. Very, very windy, though, today. It's like a good sailing day. And, um can see out here I'll show you the uh, the tree blowing in the wind um but like early this morning it started um storming like crazy well you could see the lightning through the window like um from our back window it like comes into our bedroom and you could hear the thunder and the pouring rain and everything and Boo Radley freaks out he can't stand storms so he was like shaking like a leaf on me last night so today I don't know if it's just because the little guy didn't get a lot of sleep or whatever. He was, like, wanting to um, sleep in. He wasn't really wanting to get up. So I was like, come on, Boo Ravley. And finally he got up, and I took him outside. And there was, like, is that, it looks like a dragonfly. Do, do ba dragonflies kind of look like bees a little bit? It's a small dragonfly if it is a dragonfly. I can't tell what it is. Would there be dragonflies around here even? It's either a dragonfly or a really big, like, bee or wasp. So, um, I got up and I took him outside and he walked around the yard for a while. And, um, he seemed slow, but he seemed okay to me, you know? So, got up and did that. Had my therapy session today at 1. And then I was, like, breaking down these boxes for our air conditioner because I had meant to do that. Um, breaking down these boxes and then I got the mail and then I was talking to my neighbors and just like having some coffee which I still haven't finished yet and um, he went down back down to his house and he went to go sleep down there so I was like really really tired and so I think it was like oh I don't know 2 30 2 45 I was like I'm gonna lay down for like another hour and um, so I went down there and I was like, come on, Boo Radley. And he didn't like want to get out of his house. He was acting like he was just like horribly in pain. And I was like, come on, not horribly in pain, but like he was asleep. And I was like, come on, Boo Radley. And so he came out and I picked him up and I carried him upstairs and he kind of walked all over the bed and he acted like he was fine. So then right before Alex got home, I took him back outside and the neighbor dog was out there. Well, he went crazy. And even though the neighbor dog is like big, <laughs> beagle, uh, bass and hound, he like, like Boo Radley like runs after him and acts like he's like, <laughs> like he's like an attack dog, right? So this dog was like hiding out on his patio 
And Boo Radley is like running up and down the yard and he's like, woo, 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 and he's like perfectly fine, completely perfectly fine. And I'm like, what is going on with you? So then I, um, I brought him uh, back and oh, this is so funny. So this couple just, they walked by, they didn't just walk by, they walked by earlier in the afternoon. Our electricity went off today. And so I, that's why I was talking to my neighbors. I was like, did your electricity just go off? And they were like, no. And I was like, well, ours just went off. It, all, it was only off for like five or 10 minutes, but it kind of surprised me because it wasn't storming or anything when it went off. So then Alex came home and Boo radley has been fine ever since. <laughs> So I don't know, I can't figure it out for the life of me what's going on with him. But I think maybe he like was running around the yard or he jumped off of something and kind of like hurt his neck a little bit. Which like we lift him onto the bed, we lift him onto the couch, we lift him everywhere. So I don't know when that would have happened, but I kind of feel like maybe he hurt his neck a little bit and um, it's this side. And so he just was like in pain yesterday, I don't know. But now, he seems much better. I just reviewed this Electrolit water on my uh, review channel. And I purchased it when, oh, uh, I can't remember. A couple, whenever I went, uh, went to a meeting with Tanya and our friend, I got it afterwards. And it's like not very good. But there's something kind of weirdly refreshing about it. I can't explain it. It's coconut flavored. Natural coconut flavor. Scientific formula. When I bought it, I was like, who couldn't use some more electrolytes, right? Anyway, so that's kind of been my day. I didn't really watch TV last night, so I didn't watch any of Midnight Mass. So I'm going to try to finish it tonight, Midnight Mass, and then, um, yeah, I have a drama video uploading right now, and then I did a review video, and it's uploading right now, and then um, I'm going to render and upload this vlog, and then it'll be ready to go. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Hi! Um... This woman over here, I used to see her at the pool last summer a lot. And she would talk about how she wanted to get a dog. And she had moved into these condos because her husband had passed away like a year before. And you could tell she was just like really, really sad. And she would talk to me about her husband and they had been married for a long time. They didn't have any kids. And they were both very professional and... I think she's like in her mid to late 60s and um, so anyway she was talking to me about her husband passing away and she's like yeah and she's like I'm just really alone and I like this neighborhood and I'm trying to get to know people and whatever and she would come to the pool like because I think she's retired now she would come to the pool like every single day and she would read and she always read like in the shade at the back end of the pool and so I would talk to her and stuff and um, she always talked about how she like wanted to get a dog and she was like yeah I really want I want to rescue a dog and whatever and I said well my friend Melissa is involved in several dog rescue organizations in Indianapolis you know and she was like well can you give me her information so I can call her and find out more about it and I was like yeah absolutely so I did and then Melissa talked to her at some point and said that she kind of like just connect her with the different organizations for her to look at but interestingly enough, um, I don't know when it was. It was around like last fall, maybe late fall. She started walking the neighborhood with this dog. And it's like one of those King Cavalier. Do you know what I'm talking about dogs? It's real sweet looking. And she started walking and she looks so much happier now. So she got a dog. Pets bring so much joy, don't they? Do you hear that dog barking in the distance? I kind of zoned out there for a second. I'm like starting to like, <laughs> like take notes of like everything I want to do tomorrow and Friday as far as like getting the house. Oh, here she's walking back. 
dog is pretty. As far as everything that um, I want to do to like get the house ready, I was um, I was telling my friend Valerie this that Tanya and I always like if Eric, Tanya's husband, or Alex goes out of town, we like do all this stuff to like get the house ready for us. Like Tanya, like as soon as Eric leaves, <laughs> she like cleans the whole house and folds all the blankets like down in the living room and like gets the fireplace going and has all these candles lit and she like cleans the kitchen so it's like she can enjoy it for the weekend you know <laughs> so yeah i think i'm gonna maybe do the same thing and i don't want to wash all of uh our linens like the blankets the pillow shams and everything i don't know if i want to do that on friday or if I want to do that on Thursday. I kind of just want to do it on Thursday and then have that stuff ready. But here's the thing. It's like if I do it on Thursday, then I'll have to put other sheets on there while I'm doing that. If I do it on Friday, if I do it in, like as soon as I get up, then I can put that stuff on, like after Caroline and I get back from running errands and stuff like that. I'm thinking about maybe not making videos on Friday because Caroline and I are going to be together most of the day and I don't want to like, um, like get home and feel like I have to rush making videos. I'll probably, I'll vlog on Friday, but I don't know that I'm gonna like make videos on my other channels. I kind of slowed down a little bit towards the end of the month. It's like I've made a drama video on every, every day, a vlog every day. And then, you know, there'll be a day like, I think yesterday I filmed a Peterisms video and a review, or that was the day before. That is not a, a that is not a, uh, what do you call it? Dragonfly, that is a huge B. Um, but, uh, like, you know, it's usually at the end of the month, I'm like, okay, because I get like real inspired, you know, that we're going to start another month. And so I'm like, put it out, put it out, put it out. But I think I might take a little bit of a break this, not a break this weekend, but like, I don't know that I'm going to, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I have a couple ideas for my Peter Does Stuff channel um, of videos that I want to make. And I have stuff to review in there. I'm trying to like food that I have that I've like put in the pantry just for review. I'm trying to um, like start reviewing it so that I can get it out of the way. I reviewed these cashews today, you guys, on my review channel. And there are these dill pickle uh, cashews. And at first I kind of was like, oh, these are gross. And then I was like, oh, I kind of really like them, right? How was it? It was good. Nobody there again. What's the wa water like? It was pretty, it, I mean, it feels nice. You have your key on a necklace. Yeah. I need to do that. I never even thought <laughs> yeah. about that. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> the pool key she has on the necklace. It's my neighbor next door, Laura. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I have some ideas for videos that I want to make for my Peter um, Does Stuff channel. And then I have review stuff that I could do. Of course, Peterisms videos. I'm sure there's going to be, like, drama that I'll cover. But at the same time, I just kind of want to watch some, like, shows and relax and take it easy. Take it easy. This is a perfect night to just sit on the front porch and talk to people as they walk by. It is so nice outside. There's just like a little bit of sun coming into my yard and onto the tree. And um, do you know what's so crazy is this tree across the street from us has been there forever. Like, I mean, there are different kinds of trees, right? But it's been there forever, like since I moved into this condo. The tree that we have in our front yard, which is just as tall as that tree, if not taller, is like they gave it to us and planted it. Well, they gave it to us. I mean, it was out of the HOA fees. We had a tree that got hit by lightning and part of it like went in her yard and the other went in our, I mean, it could have like hit our house. It was really scary. So, um, but they like came out and removed it and everything like that and took the, the what do you call it? The, um, out of the ground. I can't think of what that's called. The stump out of the ground. And then they planted another tree. And I can remember because her grandma, who is like, um, you know, like runs the neighborhood, where she did back in the day, she doesn't really so much anymore. She would, she would come by here and she'd say, now don't forget, 
you know, that's a $150 tree that we bought for you. And I'm like, you mean that came out of my HOA fees every month? So anyway, she was like, make sure that you water it and that you bring your sprinkler out every night. And I'm like, okay. And um, the tree grew up and it is solid now. <clears throat> solid as a rock. But it's a solid tree. It's like a really nice tree. And I can remember like the first year or two that it, like we had it. I would, I bought like this red bulb on it. Like it was Charlie Brown's Christmas tree because it was so small. And that's so funny. Now this guy down at the end of the street, he actually has this like, he has like uh, Linus and Charlie Brown and they're standing next to it. And he has this little tree that he puts out every, it's like a real tree that he puts out every year with, uh, or that he buys every year, I don't know that, but it looks like this, you know, little Christmas tree. And he puts a red bulb on it. But he's got like these uh, wood cutouts of like Linus and Charlie Brown. God, it's crazy to think that we're like August, September, October, November, December, we're five months away from Christmas. Well, not really, that's not true. We're six months away from Christmas right now. Let's not rush things, let's not rush things. When does, I don't have my phone out here. When does the uh, pumpkin spice come out at Starbucks? That'll probably be really soon if it hasn't come out already. I used to know all that stuff because I was constantly going to Starbucks and doing reviews and stuff like that. But I don't uh, go to Starbucks as much as I used to. So I don't know when the pumpkin spice and all that stuff comes out. But the Target up by me, or the one that I go to, by the way, if you ever want to buy one of these cans of coffee, this is Austin, Texas, cold high brew, cold brew, high brew coffee, Mexican vanilla is really, really good. 90 calories, I think, right? Yeah, I think I just said this in a video yesterday, 140 milligrams of caffeine. Oh, about those dill cashews though. I ended up like, after I reviewed them, I liked them so well, I sat there and ate the whole package while I was like uploading a video. I ate the whole package. So anyway, um, but I will buy um, like the tumblers. I still buy those and like the, um, you know, the Starbucks cups that come out and the mugs and all that kind of stuff. And the Starbucks by us, um, if you ever want Starbucks cups and you live in Indianapolis, it's the Nora Starbucks or Nora Target. The Starbucks inside the Nora Target, like they have tons of cups. Like the cups that I just bought for summer, like two or three weeks ago, they still have those cups in there today. Like you could go and buy like, well, they only let you buy two cups, but like that's the limit they put on them, but they have a lot of inventory still. This couple is like walking around here again. This cracks me up. Oh, this is the reason why I was mentioning them was because when I was out here before, I started walking across the street to see if my neighbors were out there and this couple was walking by and I said, my electricity went off. Did I say this already in the video? Anyway, and they said, oh, our, yours did? Well, maybe we need to get home and see it. Either they've been walking for like the last five hours or they like take two walks a day. I'm gonna ask them when they walk by, watch. Because I'm nosy like that, I like to know. I like to know these things. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms this weekend too. I need to pick these weeds. My neighbor is not grilling out today, but I could hear them going in and out. Our mail already came. So he's not gonna check the mailbox. I can hear somebody talking, but I can't see. see I can't see because of the end of the condo where the garage is. If it's somebody like just standing out in their yard talking or. There's this woman down the street that lives down here. She's probably. I would say in her middle to upper 50s and she flips houses. She's super nice. She's got the two of like the cutest little dogs. She flips houses. She drives a Porsche Cayenne, a Porsche 911, and she just bought this white. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's like a Jeep Wrangler. Oh, it's coming down the street right now. I cannot believe that. This like Jeep Rubicon Wrangler and it's like, the big tires and everything, it's gorgeous. But it's like all white. 
I don't know why, like maybe I, I've never seen like an all white one before. It's brand new too, you can tell that. She's really sweet. She thought when she moved in there she was gonna flip the condo and so she started working on it and she redid the whole thing and then she liked it so well that she said she was just gonna stay there. She's like three over, two or two over from us. She's got this like beautiful, it's huge, this like four seasons room that you can see if you're like in the backyard. It's been really nice getting to know the neighbors around the neighborhood, you know? I'm like finding out stuff about them and all that. They're very sweet. Most of them. Now, there's some people in here that I don't get along with, but the majority of the people I do get along with. I can't really think of anybody that I actually don't get along with. I mean, I think there's some people in here that you know, their personalities maybe rub me the wrong way a little bit, or maybe they care a little bit too much about this or that that goes on in the neighborhood, you know, like, but other than, I mean, that I think is kind of ridiculous or funny, but I don't think I really don't get along with anybody. I think I get along with almost everybody in here. Even like the person that was like in charge with the landscaping that used to like walk all the way down here and all the way up and then she'd say, what are we going to do about this? Like, she's really nice to me now when I see her at the pool and stuff. She took her grandkids to the pool a bit. Although, I will say it's funny because she has, like, that hairdo that, like, Sally Field had in Steel Magnolias, you know, that, um, <laughs> that Julia Roberts called, like, a football hel helmet. You know what I mean? She has, like, one of those hairdos that's, like, highly sprayed with hairspray. And so she gets in the pool and she'll, like, get in, like, up to here, but, like, she won't let her hair get wet at all. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. I think it's kind of funny, you know? Because she's very aware of it. She's like, oh, don't, don't get grandma's hair wet. Don't get grandma's hair wet. <laughs> My mom and I would, uh, we would play that game where you, like, take one leg and you put it behind you and then you hold hands and you try to, like, pull the other person down. And my mom would say, now, don't push me under. Don't dunk me under because I've got my contacts in. My mom literally could not see without her contacts. Or her, she wore glasses. She'd take her contacts out when she got home and then she'd put her glasses on. And then a lot of her life she wore glasses. I actually have this one little box of like, it's like this Christmas ornament box. And I put like all of my mom's stuff in there that I wanted to keep. It's got like her wallet in there, which is like so bizarre. It smells just like her. I have her wallet in there that has her like driver's license. And I have a watch. I bought my mom. She loved this watch. It was like this Nike watch. And um, it was like, like kind of like cheetah print or leopard print or like maybe like a brown like what's the word I'm looking for they make glasses out of but it was like a brown plastic you know and it just fit on like a bracelet like you just like put it on it didn't like have a clasp or anything like that she loved this watch I have that watch down there um what's the word that I'm looking for tortoise shell it's kind of like tortoise shell cheetah print leopard print no it's like tortoise shell and um but it's not obviously tortoise shell, but it's like this black, or it's like this brown plastic watch that she she loved this watch. I don't know where I ended up finding that. I think at the Nike outlet in Edinburgh. And then I have some of her glasses down there as well. I have like, she had this little silk pouch that she kept that she had like all these charms and things. So when my aunt and her were growing up, my grandma gave them charm bracelets like when they were young, like eight or 10. And then for birthdays, Christmases, things like that, she would give them a charm. So by the time that, like, my mom was, like, in college, she had this, like, full charm bracelet. Do you remember when people used to wear charm bracelets? Now, my aunt, at some point, went into a jewelry store and, because it was, like, a sterling silver bracelet, she had all the charms taken off and, like, she wanted to keep them separate. And then she just had the bracelet. And she would just wear this charm bracelet with no charms on it. And then Caroline told me recently, I asked her, because, oh, she was wearing a bracelet. She goes, oh, this was my mom's charm bracelet. And I said, what did you do with the charms? And she had them put, like, on this board. Like, she had them all, like, put on this board and framed, which I thought was a really, really cool idea. 
Um, like my mom has like all of these charms from like, okay, my battery died and I had to go inside and get another battery. But anyway, I was talking about these charm bracelets. So my mom had all these charms. She even had a charm on there. My mom, this was back in the day when high schools had like fraternities and sororities. And my mom was president, which is so funny because my cousin Caroline was president of this sorority at her school called Dolls, was the sorority, and she was president. And I actually have kind of a funny story about that. But anyway, and um, my mom was president of her sorority at her school, which was called um, Cutie Pie. And so here's the story about Caroline. Um, well, the story about my mom was that the initiation process for that was that they took these girls out and they put like them in a circle on the ground. They had these boxes, like, you know, just like, um, uh, what do you call it? Just like, you know, boxes. And then they put like linen paper cloth or paper towel, linen, like whatever over it. And then they had to eat all of these like really gross things, like disgusting things, right? And if they made it through, like this was the last force part of, um, what's that called? The, uh, anyway, like this was the last part. My mom would, she told me a story like a million times. And my aunt came out there and my aunt was like, you don't want to be part of this group and don't do this and blah, 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 blah. And my mom was like so mad. She said, Kathy, leave. Like you let me do what I want to do. And so, um, my aunt left and my mom said that when she got home that night from, eating all this gross food and whatever that like they the people of like the previous president and whatever of cutie pie like they had put like a dozen red long stem red roses like on her bed like but somehow they got in and like left these dozen long stem red roses on her bed and like she knew she had like made it and then she became like president and all this kind of stuff but um caroline it's funny because um we were at my wedding and we were laying out by the pool and my, a friend of mine who Caroline also knows went to high school with Caroline. They were in the same graduating class. And so <laughs> Caroline was like laying back there. I've told this story before. Caroline was like, and Caroline's very like could care less about high school today and doesn't really talk about like people she went to high school with and you know, and like, it's funny because we were talking recently about like the high school reunions and she was like, I've gone to all of mine and I thought she wouldn't have because she just really never talks about it. She really could care less and whatever. And, Caroline was pretty popular in high school. She was like the, her and her three friends were like the, like kind of like the mean girls in high school, but they weren't mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know, cause I wasn't on the receiving end of it. Um, but like, they were like the popular girls. And um, so anyway, so my friend, and I know that cause I've heard from several other people and they, and every person that like I've ever talked to about my, that went to school with my cousin was like, oh my God, your cousin was so sweet in high school and whatever. And so anyway, um, so we were laying out by the pool and my friend was like quizzing Caroline about these, like, like being in this sorority. And she was like, well, you were in dolls, weren't you? And Caroline was like, uh-huh. And she was like sitting there with her eyes closed. And she was like, I mean, you were so popular in high school, like to be in dolls and whatever. And Caroline was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And she didn't say anything. And she was like, this, and this friend just kept on going on and going on and saying all this kind of stuff. And finally she says to me, she, or she says to Caroline, she goes, I mean, you were like secretary of dolls. And Caroline goes, and she sits up and she goes, I was president of dolls. <laughs> Like, you don't care, right? But you want people to know you were president of dolls. So anyway. I think that's so funny. That was back in the day when, do you remember this? Like, like the plastic containers. You could do this on with, like, the, the markers. And, like, you put it on your trapper keeper or your notebooks or whatever. Which is where you would, like, you'd draw, like, a line. And, like, if you were going to make a B. Or if I was going to do, like, a P. I would do, like, P. And then I would do, like, a little circle at the bottom and a little circle at the top. Do you remember that? And they would do it. And then they would have, like, those, like, pins that, like, you could press in. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you remember that? And they would do it, like, on plastic. And they would do it on, like, um, like uh, plastic containers and all kinds of things. And um, she and her friends always did that. And it would always have dolls written on it. So, anyway. I was never in a swor sorority <laughs> or a fraternity. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! 
This one bush that they have across the street is like round and it's like perfect and they I've never seen anybody prune it or do anything to it and it just remains perfectly round. Our hostas this year like look diseased. Like they are not doing well. <laughs> I think it's because like there was no rain for so long. The yard looks good. But I think it's because there was no rain for so long and it's just like all the leaves look dead. I mean, I could go in there and pick them off, but there's a lot. It's kind of sadly looking. Yeah, it's real kind of sadly looking. Anyway, I'm going to get off here now. And like I said, another short vlog. I hope maybe you guys are getting caught up. Go watch a vlog from like four years ago. <laughs> Go watch just some random vlog from four years ago if you guys uh, are like wanting to watch a longer vlog. Watch my three. If you never watch my three hour vlog, you can watch my three hour vlog. I think it's called you guys asked for this or what you asked for or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to get off here now. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Wednesday. Um, and don't forget these important three things. Number one, you can start your day over whenever you want. Number two, practice random acts of kindness, but don't tell anyone. And number three, but most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know um, how much they mean to you. Thank you for hanging out on the front porch with me. I appreciate it. I love you guys. I'll see you here. Same place, same time tomorrow. I love you. Bye. Love ya. And if you need to hear it, and if you, if wait, if you want to hear it, or you need to hear it, or you just happen to stick around, one more, I love you. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.